It's time for your primetime forecast from Dr. Don's weather page in the Shepherd's Weather Center. Now, here's Dr. Don. Happy hump day, East Alabama and West Georgia. Dr. Don hanging with you on your Wednesday morning, January 20, 2021. We are already well into the year 2021. This is your primetime forecast from the Shepherd's Weather Center. It was right here on this day back in January 20th, 1937, the wettest inaugural day on record with 1.77 inches of rain in just 24 hours. Temperatures were only in the 30s as Franklin D. Roosevelt was sworn in for his second term. On this day back in 1990, heavy thunderstorm rains drenched the central Gulf Coast states. 4.23 inches of rain recorded in Centerville, Alabama in just 24 hours. Don't forget to head over to paypal.me forward slash Dr. Don WX to support Dr. Don's weather page. We greatly appreciate you and our partners. We hope that you'll go over there and help us out. Speaking of inauguration, it'll take place, uh, what, 12 noon today in Washington, D.C. Should not be a bad weather day. The only real issues they'll have will be the wind. It will be mostly sunny, though there will be a few clouds around. A high temperature of 43 this afternoon, but a brisk northwest wind at around 20 miles per hour will make you feel like it's more like 33 than 43. So it'll be a cold, windy day in Washington, but no precipitation expected for today's inauguration festivities. Storm Prediction Center convective outlook for your Wednesday, not a drop across East Alabama or West Georgia as far as thunderstorms are concerned. Here's your national map in motion. Look at that double barrel low pressure hanging out down there along the uh, Gulf Coast from Mississippi back over to Texas. That's going to Going to get us wet in here on uh, tonight into tomorrow and into Friday. Then we'll have a little reprieve on Saturday and then more rain on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. We are entering into a mild and wet period uh, for the next week or so across the southeast. Temperatures for today will go to 54 this afternoon in Roanoke, Wadley. Wadawi hits 53. Woodland goes to 51. Carrollton tops out at 53. Pine Mountain. 57. Dadeville will go to 55 and Opelika will hit 57 on your Wednesday afternoon. Here's your goes east southern Mississippi Valley satellite shot this morning showing those uh, clouds beginning to stream in from the northwest. So it's broken up though. Uh, so um, yeah, some places have clouds this morning and others don't. The thickest cloud deck right now would be right across central Alabama from about Centerville Brent down to Montgomery and then over to around Columbus and then some heavy cloud coverage across extreme north Georgia as well. That will begin to change as we go throughout the day. It'll be a mixture of sun and clouds, but as we get into the afternoon, yeah, the clouds will take over and we should become mostly cloudy by sunset this evening. Total rainfall amounts expected over the next five days across East Alabama and West Georgia, three quarters to about a quarter or, or inch and a quarter. Uh, will be common. I think most folks hit right there around one inch of rain. And this is looking out through Monday of next week. So we've got a couple of different weather systems to factor in. And these uh, radar estimate or model estimated totals over the next five days. Here's your Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar valid as of 629 a.m. on your Wednesday morning. Showing pretty much clear skies across East Alabama and West Georgia as far as rain is concerned. Yes, there are a few clouds out there. And beginning to see a few small echoes there from Sylacauga back toward uh, the uh, radar site over at the Shelby County Airport. But I'm thinking that's probably ground clutter. We should not have any precipitation out there just yet. But that will change as we head toward sunset this afternoon. Here's your Southern Union State Community College Futurecast Radar. We'll start this at 6 p.m. this evening and we'll run this through 12 noon on Friday. Here comes the rain. Uh, this is uh, going to be light for the most part. A few showers from time to time. Drizzle. Uh, just a showery type setup pattern and over the next uh, 24 hours or so. And this will run all the way out till noon on Friday, and you'll see the rain is still hanging around probably sometime Friday night before we go dry. 
And then again, Saturday looks nice right now, but then the rain returns on Sunday, probably afternoon on Sunday, and we go into another 24 to 48 hour wet period to start next week. Current conditions across the area, 45 degrees. We hit that as our overnight low at 6.04 a.m. this morning. Wind is out of the west northwest too, gusting to around 9, 37.6 degree uh, uh, dew point this morning. And uh, then uh, the relative humidity is at 77%. Trying to do too many things at one time. For today, we look for mostly sunny, though clouds will filter in from time to time and they will become dominant by this afternoon. 54 will be your high. Uh, wind out of the northwest at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunrise this morning, 644. Sunsets at 502 p.m. Yeah. As your current conditions across East Alabama and West Georgia. How about the forecast? Your six day forecast from the Shepherd's Weather Center for today. Mostly sunny, though clouds begin to increase this afternoon. 54 will be your high. 40 your overnight low with a 30% chance of rain after sunset, probably toward midnight. And then on Thursday, an 80% chance of rain, 54. No danger of thunder right now. 47 your overnight low. 70% chance of rain Thursday night into Friday. 55 your high on Friday. Rain will diminish in the afternoon. We go down to 33 for your overnight low Friday night. And then on Saturday, as I said earlier, mostly sunny, 56. I think Saturday will be the best day of the weekend. Sunday, a 40% chance of rain. That'll be afternoon, 54. And then on Monday, another good soaking rain on the way. 65 will be your high on Monday. Look what happens to our temperatures. 70 out there on Tuesday, the 26th. And then 27 on Wednesday. I'm sorry, 65 on Wednesday, the 27th. And we may have to watch for the possibility of a strong to marginally severe thunderstorm out there. Now, that's not in the official forecast, but anytime you get temperatures that warm this time of year, you have to keep, uh, you have to raise an eyebrow and really look for the possibility of some instability. So we'll keep an eye on that. We go back sunny and cool, more seasonable by the 28th and 29th. And then as we round out the first month of 2021, partly cloudy and uh, more normal type weather for this time of year out there on the 30th and the 31st. Don't forget to head over to drdonwx.com to check out our website. While you're there, go to the God's Country page, download the Mixer app so you can listen to God's Country anywhere in the whole wide world. And as an added bonus, you get my daily weather forecast. Also at the top of this video, you see three links. You may have to hit show more up there to see all of them, but there are three links up there and they're all three very important. The first one is to go over and support Dr. Don's weather page at PayPal. The second one is to carry you over to our YouTube channel. Very important that you click on that link and go to our YouTube channel so that you can subscribe to Dr. Don's weather page on YouTube and click on that little bell so that you get notified when we go live for severe weather. Now, it doesn't matter where you watch us, whether you watch us on Facebook or YouTube, but YouTube uses a different type of technology to send you notifications when we go live and it's instant. Uh, the Facebook algorithm is a little bit different and they do things a little bit differently and sometimes our live notifications just don't go out as quick as they should. So it's very important that you use YouTube to at least let you know that we're live. So please click on that link and go over there and subscribe to Dr. Don's weather page on the YouTube. Our partners include Joey Knight at Anchor Roofing, 706-326-2438. Judy Aubrey at Shepherd's Fine Jewelry and Gifts in downtown Roanoke, 334-863-2812. Neil Johnson, Superior Heating and Air Conditioning, 334-646-0331. Mr. Brandon Brown at BR Construction, 334-744-1507. Southern Union State Community College, Wadley, Opelika, and Valley. Becky Rainwater at Remax Lakefront, 256-610-1390. By Auction 431 South, Joey Knight at 256-252-8932. Made in the South, a division of Southeast Soft Wash, 334-863-0084. Mark Mitchell at Bama Diesel Repair in Woodland, 256-201-3685. 
Jimmy Stevens of Jimmy Stevens Construction, 256-610-1364. And Jamie Dukas, your Alpha Insurance Agent, 256-452-5131. Final look at your Southern Union State Community College live Doppler HD radar this morning, scanning the skies of East Alabama and West Georgia from the Shelby County Airport. South of Birmingham showing no precipitation across East Alabama or West Georgia at this hour. Don't forget to support us at paypal.me forward slash Dr. Don WX. That is the very first link at the top of this video. It's real fast. It's convenient. You don't even have to have a PayPal account. We appreciate anything you can do to help us out. Don't forget it is Inauguration Day in our nation's capital. Yeah, should be a windy but partly cloudy day with temperatures uh, pretty decent for the high noon celebration and ceremonies that will be taking place in Washington, D.C. Folks, it's been a very trying couple of years uh, politically uh, and because of COVID and because of a number of other things in the United States of America, but it is what it is. And it, regardless of which side of this thing that you're on, uh, it is a day of ceremony in the United States of America. I pray for peace. I pray that things go well in Washington today. Did the election go the way I wanted it to go? Not necessarily. But Joe Biden will be our president, and we'll support him until there is another president. That's just the way it's supposed to be, and I pray that that's the way it will be. You have yourself a fantastic Wednesday. I'll see you back in here on Thursday. We'll take a look at that. Yeah, 24 to 48 hours of rain. It it may be heavy at times coming in to our weather forecast for Thursday and Friday. Y'all have a fantastic Wednesday. See you tomorrow. Bye now.